Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Echo. Welcome back today to a Minecraft Pocket Edition add-ons video. In today's video, for you guys, I have a tutorial on how to get add-ons in 0.15.6. If you don't know already, during 0.16.0, we're going to have the ability to edit files so you can customize mobs to however you want. You can make creepers tiny, you can make them super, super fast, and so much more. This was announced at E3, where well, someone in the community has actually found a texture pack where you can already customize the JSON file. I have a tutorial in this video. It's pretty awesome. If you do enjoy it, be sure to thumbs it up. All the downloads are in the description. So the first thing you're gonna need is, of course, the texture pack. Now, if I go to options, I go to manage, and I click on this one. This one's called OzoCraft. Now this has something special that the other texture packs don't quite have. There may be more texture packs in the community with what OzoCraft does have, and that is having a models file. I'll show you exactly how it works. So I have enabled this. All we need to do now is close down Minecraft and you're going into your file editor. You can use Astro or you can use Easy File Explorer. This is up to you. For me, I'm gonna be using Easy File Explorer. It's a lot easier to edit files going to home than I'm going into games. Back into this file, we're going into the resource packs. And if you don't know how to add resource packs or texture packs to Minecraft Pocket Edition, there are thousands of tutorials on YouTube. It's really easy and you only have to create one file. And that file you have to create is resource underscore packs. So going in here, going into OzoCraft, it has a special file and this is called models. Now this pretty much is all the mobs within Minecraft in kind of coding form. So if we click on this, we're gonna open this as a text document. You can use whatever type of text document you use on your device. For me, I'm just gonna use file editor. And what we're gonna do in today's video is we're gonna be changing the size of the armor on zombies. Now you can customize anything you want within this. You're gonna have to mess around with it. Now during 0.16.0, I'm guessing the files would be a lot easier to understand. These are quite complex because, well, let's be honest, we're not really meant to be able to do the add-ons in 0.15.6. So at the top, you guys can see this is the geometry of a chicken. It pretty much says the texture width, the texture height. You can customize chickens if you really wanted to. Now during E3, I did get to see a press conference of the messing around with add-ons. The person made, I think he made like zombies have bunny ears. If you guys know a lot about coding, you could customize these to whatever you really wanted to. During the tutorial at E3, they showed us um, a ghast as a spaceship, so you can remodel them. And that's what we're gonna be able to do in 0.16.0. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scroll down to where the zombie section is and where the creepers are, and we're gonna edit them. Now before I customize the zombies, this is the creeper section. It says geometry creeper, charge geometry creeper. And as you guys can see, we've got sections like inflate, now, if I was to customize the charge creeper, which you guys are welcome to do in your world, get yourself a charge creeper, then edit the file. If you're changing it to a bigger size, change the inflate from like 2.0 to like 10. This will make the size of the creeper itself huge. It will make it absolutely massive. So go and do that for yourself. I might even bring you a sneak peek at the end of this video. So scrolling down a little bit more, we have the mobs and all how they work. You guys can see here, we've got geometry, zombie, and then you've got the texture and the height. You guys can also see here, we've got zombie armor. We're gonna be changing the zombie itself. So we're gonna be changing all of these from 1.0 to 10.0. So we're gonna do all of these. There's quite a few to do. You've got the body and all of the arms. So just changing these like this. It's really easy. And this is what it's gonna be like when add-ons are officially out. It's gonna be this easy to edit. That's, that's not the right size. We need to do 10.0. That's not the right size again, 10.0, there we go. That's the right arm, you've got the left arm. And if you really wanted to, you could just change like his legs to be small um, and his, his like body to be huge. Just have a little bit of a mess around with these, especially if you do know a lot about coding, this will be fun for you. Um, but this is really, really cool because not all texture packs on Minecraft Pocket Edition have this. There might be more in the community. This is the only one that you guys have found so far. So as you guys can see, they are all set to 10. If you really wanted to, we could mess around with the baby zombies. I'm gonna leave them for now. You've also got um, zombie pigments. You've also got baby zombie pigments. You've got skeletons. You can customize all these mobs to however you want. Just have a little bit of a mess around with them. So I'm just gonna save this for now. So that has now been saved. I'm gonna close down this, close down this. So after you've opened Minecraft, make sure you have the texture pack enabled. As you guys can see, 
Ozo Craft has been changed because of course it has to be the texture pack that you edit. So let's go to play, let's go to create, and let's just create a normal creative world. Now, this is super, super fun to do. Not to mention, I really do like this texture pack. It's really cool. So if you want to use it anyway, you can. So let me grab myself the blocks that we need. We're going to be using, of course, just a zombie spawn egg, which is this one. What I suggest you doing, guys, as well, going to options and making sure your difficulty is set to the hardest difficulty. This will increase the mobs that um, have armor on. So we're going to do them up here. So let's, let's place them until one spawns with armor on. So again, they can take a little bit of time. It shouldn't take too long, and as you guys can see right there, because we changed the size of the armor, this guy is absolutely huge. It looks like enchanted gold armor. You can't even see his, his face. It's literally just a zombie covered by armor, and this will happen with all of them as well, so it's just it's just so fun to mess around with, and as you guys can see, it looks like we got us. I'm not sure if that's gold. It looks like gold, and this is gold as well, so you can have a good mess around with these. It's just so much fun because they have tiny legs, um, but let's just see if any more spawn, let's just spawn a couple more. And as you guys can see there, so imagine these guys fighting, it would look super fun. So this one here has only got an enchanted helmet, so it looks like he's wearing a massive helmet. And there is thousands of possibilities with what you could do with changing this texture pack. Go and check it out for yourself. That is how easy this tutorial is. Everything is in the description. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to thumbs it up. Have a great day, and I'll catch you very soon. Bye!